Good evening. Thanks for joining us. It is crunch time at the Capitol tonight. Right now, lawmakers are knee deep in a debate over school funding. If passed, the bill would provide the largest state aid to schools in Minnesota history. Chief political reporter John Croman is at the Capitol tonight with the latest. John. You know, that bill passed about five minutes ago, so uh, it's made it for the first link of its journey. We are talking about the largest year-to-year -year increase in school funding and school aid uh, in history. We're talking about $2.2 billion. That equates to a 4% increase on the basic formula per pupil in the first year, a 2% in the second year, and then index to inflation after that capped to 3%. So this is what else the bill is going to be doing, where it's also going to be setting aside money for literacy and helping school districts pay for special education that is mandated by the federal government. Also has dollars earmarked to support staff, such as counselors, psychologists, and school nurses, an area where Minnesota lags compared to most of the nation. There's also money to help districts hire and retain teachers of color to provide ethnics and money to provide ethnic studies curriculum. This is an amazing bill, not because there's a magic bullet provision that fixes all the problems. It's because it's a comprehensive, multifaceted approach that provides the support and the resources that our kids and our schools need to learn, to grow, and to thrive. We've heard even today how this bill is historic, it's transformational. Well, Mr. Speaker, I think I figured out what transformational means. It means more money. Now, Republicans say the bill has too many mandate mandates for local districts. They say it'd be better just to give them more money and let them decide how to spend it. One of those mandates would be letting part-time hourly workers like school bus drivers and paras qualify for unemployment for the first time ever. Now, according to the calendar, again, this just passed the House. According to the calendar, the Senate is supposed to take up the school funding bill later tonight, but that could take a while. As you know, in the last days of the legislature, as they're rushing to get things done, the one tool the Republicans have is to slow things down and try to make Democrats think really hard about what they're trying to do here. Back to you. All right, John, thank you.